Well, Next Gen 2032 is here and we've got a lot of scouting to do. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for Club 6 Episode 9 of Hall of Famer here on Football Manager 2023. So I've done a load of scout reports and obviously we've got to wait for those to come through. Some of these do look half decent already, some of them we actually already have scouted. Uh, now we do have a couple of players in this uh, top 50 who are actually already here. Just one, it's actually Fernando Antonio who is on loan to Brighton and um, does have a decent future ahead of him by the looks of it. 19 years old, Brazilian and yeah, looks half decent. Whether we find a position for him next season or not, if we're here, then uh, I really don't know because um, a central attacking midfielder, not really my strong point. Schedule, we've only played the one game since the previous video and that was away against Rotherham where we did win by two goals to nil. Ruben Diaz and Arda Gula getting on the score sheet. But today is all about the Champions League. And we're playing both legs against Liverpool here. We start away and then we have the second leg at home. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go straight into this game. The other quarterfinal is Barcelona versus Juventus. So that's a big tie in itself. And in reality, the Champions League draw for this season has just been drew as well. And Man City have Bayern Munich. Now that could be a really tough game. But I guess we will see. A few players are still wanted of course. Uh, Kimmich is going to be leaving. He is going to Leipzig as you hopefully already know. And Laporte is going to be retiring at the end of the season as well. Uh, Jolson is still wanted by Real Madrid as well as Vidovic being wanted by Barcelona. Caprice wouldn't exactly be against letting him go. Sam Abbott, I think he's um, out of contract at the end of the season anyway. And I think one, maybe two others. Harms, of course, not registered for the squad. But here we go. Away against Liverpool, you've got Kozlov in goal. Sole, Lepore, Halux and Kimmich at the back. Jolson, Malinas and Vidovic in the three-man midfield. Healy and Pino on the wings and, of course, Haaland leading the line up front, Ossiman on the bench. I'm still undecided about what I'm going to do. Really undecided. Now, should I continue uh, from this point? I'm not sure. Now, March 18th, as I'm recording this, I've got a few weeks in the backlog of um, videos planned and scheduled and everything and all that. It may drop down to maybe two a week if I continue. I don't know. But um, if... If it ends here, then it will still be the three a week, but obviously it ends quicker as well. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still undecided. It may drop to two videos a week for both of the series. I don't know. Um, I haven't worked it out yet. But, yeah. I do, tend to, I do tend to change my mind quite a lot when it comes to planning stuff on like YouTube schedules and stuff. So, um, if I decide to go to two videos a week... I will update you on the community page because obviously I'm recording this two, three weeks in advance before it's due to come out. So, um, yeah, well, um, we'll see. But initially, my initial, realistically, my plans do go out the window relatively quick. So I honestly, at this point, do not know. That's the easiest thing for me to say. So we've started not great because Liverpool have the ball. We haven't had a shot on goal yet, but hopefully that comes here. So luck back to Lepore. Back to Solo, he's got a few Liverpool players with him. A Jolson now, gets it to Haaland. Haaland out to Heatley, a lovely little pass there to Heatley. Heatley puts it in and Vidovic scores, come on! And Gabriel Vidovic has put us 1-0 up at Liverpool with our only shot on goal so far. It's on target, obviously. It's a goal. We lead at Anfield. Get in there, come on! That's what we flaming well want, baby. Come on! That's what we like to see. And what also I like to see is the fact that Coventry City beat Blackpool 4-1. And we're only a few points behind the playoffs. Can it happen? Come on. Lepore now to Sola. 35 minutes on the clock. We still lead by a goal to nil. Lepore, Jolson, Halux, Vidovic. And manages to get the ball to Kimmich. And Kimmich does well to hold on to it. With that amount of Liverpool players around him. Lepore, Jolson. Molinas loses the ball. And Liverpool can't get it forward. Sola does, though. Sola gets it to Erling Haaland, and it's blocked. And Kenyatte with the clearance. And that's where the highlight fizzles out. That is absolutely fine. We have had the better of this first half so far. And we're having another opportunity here, hopefully. Heatley still holding on to the ball. Goes out to Lepore. He's got acres of space. A Jolson now. Jolson to Halux. Halux, Vidovic, Kimmich now. 
Joshua Kimmich, Halux to Lepore. For Molinas now. Molinas does well to turn and gets the ball to Heatley on the wing. And Mile Heatley hurling. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Oh, that was so close. That was a beautiful attack there by, by our boys. And unfortunately, we don't double the lead, but we do lead by a goal to nil at half time at Anfield. Let's continue this, please. Not just for the rest of this game, but let's continue it into the next game against Liverpool as well. Obviously, we're going to be doing the Leicester game off camera. Obviously, Premier League is still important because we're still involved in a title race. We are six points clear of Arsenal at the moment. If it was that way in reality, I'd be happy. I'd be really happy. Oh, Kimmich is. I mean, he's put Gory off a little bit, but Gory puts it in. Oh, no. And he's spilled it. And Campbell has equalised for Liverpool. Ah, oh, that really has not been coming, has it? That's the first real highlight we've seen for Liverpool. And they've scored from it. Had Jolson now. Can we take the lead again? Harlan with a header and he's hit the bar again. Oh, good Lord. Oh, right. Okay, the sound literally just went. I assumed it was because a player gone injured or something. Right, substitution o'clock. Uh, Foden, you can come on for Heatley. Uh, we're going to bring Ossiman on for Haaland because Haaland is absolutely knackered. Um, what else can I make here? I'm not going to make another change now, actually. I'm going to do. We're going to encourage. Got 20 minutes left of this game. 1-1 one, one is still acceptable. Absolutely. And it's not even like away goals count for anything anymore anyway. So a 1-1 one, one is absolutely fine. But what is not fine is Gory in our box. And that was a good save. Liverpool have had the better of this second half. That has to be said. Is it time for another change? We haven't really got a lot of strength in depth on the bench. Have oh, no. Kenyatte scored from the resulting corner. And it's 2-1 to Liverpool. That is not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted at all. We do have some injury concerns, which I didn't actually address to you at the beginning of the video, which I will address to you now after this game, because, um, yeah, it looks like um, Liverpool are going to go on and win this. Uh, Rodriguez for Vidovic, and I guess Diaz for Halux. Right, we're going to need to go for this, attacking... Encourage. We are. I know we're only a goal down, but I find it a little bit unfortunate if we do lose this today. And um, yeah, that's exactly what's happened. We've gone down two-one to Liverpool. We're still more than in this game. Hopefully, we have a little bit of luck in the second leg. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll take our dues this time. You know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we are only a goal down on aggregate. So uh, yeah, if we can have a first half again. For both halves of the next game, we will be absolutely fine. But, uh, yeah, we are without some key players. Obviously, Tushmany would have been in the team today, as you can probably imagine. And um, I think there's another player with a big injury as well. Um, genuinely cannot remember who it is. But we are still more than in this tie, absolutely. Uh, but, uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to do the Leicester game off camera. So will we? So will we? No, we will be back. Um, at the end of that game to uh, show you how we got on. Fitness concerns, Diaz, Haaland and Halux. They need to rest against Leicester, absolutely. Um, Diaz, to be fair, only came on for the last few minutes of that game anyway. So yeah, you can see Alanis and Tushmeni are the injuries at the moment. Um, Tushmeni is going to be out for a couple of weeks, so he will miss the next leg against Liverpool. Alanis as well, exactly the same. Could, out, could be out even longer. So we'll see. So we'll do the Leicester game and we'll be back to hopefully another win. Well, we'll come back around 15 minutes before the end of this game against Leicester. We are now leading by two goals to one. We did take the lead through Ossiman. Leicester equalised in around 60 minutes. And we have just retaken the lead after Erling Haaland has come off the bench. And uh, Kimmich is coming off for four. Head Jolson in our final change. Haaland with a free kick. Laporte with the header and it's just wide. Now you can see... Latest scores, Arsenal are 1-0 down to West Ham. So as things stand, with five games to play, we are nine points clear at the top of the table. That only means we can win the league or we can seriously screw it up. 
Now, I certainly hope it is the first one. We've beaten Leicester by two goals to one. Wasn't the prettiest of games, I will admit that. But a win is a win, and we will take it. And we'll hopefully get a little bit of momentum in the game against Liverpool. Now, I don't know why it's done this, but literally I've only clicked continue a couple of times and it's come up with the initial budgets already and the fact that we're qualified for the Champions League, which I kind of get it, but it did it while we're at Madrid. I don't know. It, it's weird. It's weird. Now, I don't know what we'd be hoping for, but we may not even be here to use that budget. Um, I don't know. I still don't know, but if we get around 50 million, that'll be good. So let's have a look. Eh? What? Are you mad? What the f... <laughs> what? I'm lost for words. How? Okay, okay. Hold the phone. Right, okay. Okay, right. £192 million. Pounds. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm lost for I'm literally lost for words. I literally don't know what to say. That is mad. That is absolutely mad. Just think of the damage we can do with that amount of money. I mean, this. I mean, but I mean, I I don't know what I really don't know what to say. I really do not know what to say there. <sighs> I mean now. Obviously, it means we're going to have to do the transfer window, which would then mean we do the another season. So, regardless of what happens, whether we win the league, whether we win the FA Cup, whether we win the Champions League, if all three happen, if all three don't happen, if one of them happens, two of them happens, it doesn't matter. We're going to be doing another year. We're going to be doing another year. Now, uh, I'm not sure what it's going to be like schedule-wise, but I will figure that out over the time. But, yeah, I mean, the fact that we've done so well this year, we're building a really good squad. We've brought in some really, really good youngsters. You know, Harms, um, Hallux, Sola, and uh, Skuras is only going to get better, and Molinas as well. There's other guys in the youth setup as well that we've brought in. I don't think we can leave this just yet. I was leaning towards doing another season anyway, but I wasn't going to tell you guys that, was I? But yeah, we're going to be doing another year regardless of what happens. I mean, we can't not now. I mean, we've been given a stupid budget, so we're going to spend it. Absolutely. The wage budget we will obviously have to consider as well, but obviously Kimmich is going to be leaving at the end of the season. So, uh, that's £250,000 a week off the wage budget. Um, what's it is retiring. So, that's 370 off the wage budget. Um, he is going to... His contract will expire and he'll be released. So, that's him out the door. And maybe we have one or two sales as well. I don't know. We'll have to see. But, yeah, we're doing another season. 100% now. 100%. So, just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Now... I had no idea I was going to get that transfer budget. I think you can probably tell by the reaction that I got, I gave. So, um, yeah. Right, Liverpool coming up. Right, here we go. Second leg against Liverpool. Pretty much the same starting eleven as you saw in the previous game against them. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully a little bit better here. No change really because Alanis and Tushmeni are still injured. So let's see what we can do here. Come on. We need a performance here. I don't want Liverpool to get the better of me in the Champions League yet again. Otherwise, there is going to be flaming hell to pay. So, we are a goal down from the first leg. Of course, Liverpool winning the first leg 2-1 earlier on in the video. And then we found out that we've got a pretty much a £200 million transfer budget. Um, I did cut a little bit of the reaction, because purely accidental. But, um, yeah, I can't get that little bit of the clip back now. So, I'm a little bit annoyed with myself. But... The initial reaction was a little bit more eh, eh, kind of thing. So, um, yeah, obviously caught me by surprise. But I think you still get that in the, the clip that we got there. Right, come on, boys, let's do this. 
Um, I'm actually currently watching the um, Man City Burnley game in the FA Cup. Um, March 18th, as I'm pretty sure I said in that. Oh, good set. I mean, I said that. Good save. It's um, right at him. But there we go. Um, Kozlov with the ball. And kicks it upfield. And Liverpool do win it, but it's now with Kimmich. Kimmich Dale bolting it down the right-hand side. Kimmich cuts it in to Phil Foden, who whips it in. Erling Haaland again. He's hit the crossbar. How many times in this video has Erling Haaland hit the flaming crossbar? Three, I count. And it's all been against Liverpool. Out Nori to Gori. It's now without Nori again. And Foden dispossesses him. Gets the ball to Haaland. That was an awful touch by Haaland. But thankfully we've won it back through Sola. Heatley now. Heatley releases ha Haaland now. Erling Haaland. Uh, that's obviously gone out. You're never keeping that in Dominguez. So we've got a corner from that. Is it going to be a good one? Let's hope it is. Kimmich now. Taking the corner. Whips it in. And Dominguez with the easy catch. 20 minutes in, we've had a few good chances. Given the ball away a few times, but, you know, there's still plenty of time in this game. Let's uh, encourage. Come on. Let's do it. Not a single shot on target yet. This is not what I want to see, but this is what I do want to see here. Come on, yes! Erling Haaland has scored with his head. Back of the net. It's 2-2 two, two on aggregate. We lead 1-0 on the night. That's exactly what we want to see. Although that was our first shot on target. Which is exactly what happened in the last game. A Kimmich. A Jolson. Can we turn this first leg around? Can we turn the first leg deficit round here? Come on. Molinas out to Sola who's in a bit of space. Sola, can he cut it inside? He hits it against Alexander Ronald but loses it. But does get it back. He leads to Haaland. I think he's offside. I think he's offside. I would be surprised if that's given. I'm sure he's offside. That's why I'm not celebrating. It is offside. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, screw you, you... Oh. Came close to swearing a few times in this video. That one was from anger. The other one was through surprise. Right, Stoav. Obviously, we've had former with Stoav. Uh, Watford, I believe. Out Nori. Oh, he skipped past um, very easily there. Out Nori. Uh, Kimmich has won the ball there. Phil Foden now with it. Lumps it forward. Obviously going to give that away. No, I thought he was going to give that away. Erling Haaland. Vidovic. Uh, Jolson now. Out to Kimmich on the right. 45 minutes gone on the clock. Haaland is in. Haaland. Haaland across to Heatley. Oh, and he hits it against Liverpool defender, but again, he gets a tap in. Oh, Lacronix has had a horrible time there. And Heatley has scored against Liverpool. Former Everton player has scored to hopefully, for us, send Liverpool out of the Champions League. And we lead... Well, I was going to say we lead at half-time. It's not actually over yet in the first half because it is with us again here. Kimmich. Oh, he's done terribly there, giving the ball away to Gorey and Campbell's in for Liverpool. And, oh my God, that was close. Kozlov conceded, the goal he conceded against Leicester was a really sloppy one as well. And I thought it was going to repeat itself there. Stoav with the corner, and it's collected there by Kozlov. Good boy, come on. And there we have it. Now it is half-time. It is 2-0, 3-2 on aggregate. We have turned this around so far. And so far, so good. We are leading 2-0. But there's still another half. And we know just how good Liverpool are on this game. It's with Scalvini. Oh, he hits it right against Molinas. And Molinas does eventually win the ball. Vidovic now. Hadjoltsen. Haaland was offside initially. But he's onside now. Erling Haaland. Oh, I thought he was going to go down. Kimmich with the shot. And he's hit the post. No. Dominguez parried it. And Heatley's been booked. That is absolutely fine. Just don't get yourself sent off because you'll miss the semi-final if we reach it. Right, half an hour gone. I think it's time to make a sub or two. Uh, Jeremy Pino, that'll be a good good sub. Comes on for Heatley. Uh, I'm going to make another one, I think, as well. Um, Diaz, I think... I'm not... Mm, yeah, we'll bring Diaz on for Laporte. That's fine. Two subs made. Still 2-0. 3-2 on aggregate. We lead Liverpool in the Champions League... Quarter-finals. Goulart is coming on for Phil Foden. 
15 minutes plus left on this match. Molinas, Jeremy Pino, Haaland back to Halux. Halux, oh my god, I thought he was going to lose the ball then. Jolson back to Diaz, out to Sola. Sola now trying to get down this left-hand side. Goes back to Ruben Diaz. Back to Sola and Sola. I thought he'd given the ball away. Jeremy Pino back to Sola. Sola, what's he going to do? Gives it to Adolson. To Vidovic with a shot. And it's another good save there by Dominguez. Although I don't know if that was initially going wide anyway. Just um, watching the telly as well. Man City have just conceded a corner against Burnley. Jolson to Vidovic. Vidovic across the Halux. And it's another good save. And it's cleared. 15 minutes to go. There's me shouting some orders. I think it's me. Could be Klopp. Quite frankly, I don't know these days. Right, Haaland has to come off. He is absolutely knackered. And we're going to bring Rodriguez on as well for Hidjolson. Can you go there? You can't. So Rodriguez is going to have to do it. Although, have we got a right back on the bench? Of course we have, and it's a right back. But Sola's knackered as well. I think... Because obviously, no, because Kimmich is knackered as well. Just thinking Kimmich could go in um, defensive midfield instead. But um, there's not really much point. We've got just over five minutes left. Can we hold on to this? I think over the two legs, I think we do deserve the win. We've got four minutes of added on time, and we are nearly in that now. Ossiman. Uh, I don't think Ossie, no, Ossiman did get a touch on that. Scalvini hits it forward, and Liverpool have the ball here. Oh, Rodriguez has done well. I never had any doubts with him. In defensive midfield, Rodriguez with the ball. Kimmich now. Arda. Vidovic to Rodriguez. Rodriguez now. Rodriguez out to Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino whips it in. And it's cleared. Molinas now to Joshua Kimmich. And it's... Oh, he's hit the post! Oh, my God. How many times have we hit the woodwork in this game? in Over these two legs. You know, with Haaland's... In the bar three times with Kimmich hitting the post. So, uh, like, he's hit it once. I think someone else has hit it once as well. Jeremy Pino across to Ossiman, who I think was offside. He's not. It's harder. Oh, and there's another good save by the keeper. And we have a free kick. Arda whips it in. Oh, did we hit the crossbar again? Oh, if we don't win this, then what on earth is an, what on earth is this game? Seriously. And Liverpool have the ball. Luis Diaz now whips it in. And it's headed clear. Ruben Diaz, Vidovic to Arda. And he clears it upfield. Ossiman now. What's he going to do? We've got less than 20 seconds left of this game. Halux, Arda, Halux, Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz over the top for Jeremy Pino. I think we've done enough. 10 seconds left of this game. Jeremy Pino puts it in. It is cleared. You're in timber on the ball for Liverpool. Seconds to go. Seconds and we've done it. And we have done it. We have beaten Liverpool. We have got the revenge we wanted. For what they did to me at Real Madrid in the Champions League final last season. We have beaten Liverpool in the Champions League quarter-final it is the quarter-final isn't it it can't be the semi I'd be really surprised if it was the semi a nice victory well done we have made it through to the semi-final or final I genuinely can't remember I'm pretty sure because we've got the FA Cup semi-final coming up I'm pretty sure the Champions League semi-final won't be before that I'm pretty sure what we're playing in there was the quarter-final I've literally I've been doing so much recently I genuinely do not know off the top of my head I really don't. But what is most important is that we won. We beat Liverpool over the two legs. Yes, we lost the first leg 2-1, but we won the second leg 2-0. I'm really happy with that. Oh, good Lord. I think I've had to drink a lot today because I've been doing a lot with WWE 2K as well. With this, I did an NBA Supercard and NBA WWE Supercard video earlier as well. Absolutely mental stuff, guys. Wow. Now, um, as usual, I think it goes without saying that we will finish this video at the schedule screen. And we'll find out if it was the quarterfinal. Or it may have even been... The, I don't think it was the semi-final, was it? Let's just... Um, we may as well not even skip to it. We may as well just go to it here. I mean, if it takes 
ages to load, which it probably will. Then uh, we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, are you gonna? Are we gonna go to the tunnel, or is it closed, or something? I, I just there we go. There we go. First leg defeat. It doesn't say. Doesn't say. Doesn't say really. I mean, I'm, I'm, I must be just missing it. Quarterfinal. Thank you. I'm. Sh I thought it was. I mean, I was leaning more towards quarterfinal than semi-final, most definitely. So obviously, we have got the semi-final of the FA Cup coming up as well. Now, I will admit, FA Cup not as important as the other two competitions because we've already won the FA Cup in this series with Watford. So, um, yeah. So, uh, we'll see. Now, uh, obviously, we've got the FA Cup game against Chelsea coming up. I'm going to be doing that off camera. Now, if I do get through to the final, I will be showing you the final. Of course, I will. That would be stupid for me not to. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Now, because this is taking an age to load, guys. I mean, is it? I've just or, No, I just didn't select continue. That's more on me than anything else. So, yeah, we've got Chelsea coming up, which, like I said, I am going to be doing off camera anyway. So, um yeah, I mean, I may as well just keep this rolling, providing that the schedule screen does not take ages to load, like it has done so many times previously. There we go. There it is. Awesome, awesome stuff. We've got to play Man United at some point. Um, I did not know that. So, oh, another fun... It must, that must be in the uh, Premier League. It will, yeah, it will be in the Premier League. Of course it will. We've got Barcelona in the Champions League. Wow, okay. Oh, we didn't serve anything. Oh, it's nice to admit you admit that. It's nice to see that you admit that, Jürgen. Thank you. Um, that gives me a little bit of respect for you. Not so much your team, but for you. Really don't like Liverpool. As you guys probably know by now. Right, come on. Load. Schedule. Load. Schedule. Load. Schedule. Load. Schedule. Load. Load. Come on. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're getting there. Come on. You can load. You can load. Come on, load. Load. Yay, there we go. Right, well. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we have got Man United in the league. Crikey. Nice. Okay. Right, so we've got the FA Cup semi-final. We've got Fulham in the Premier League as well. I think what we'll probably do... I'm not going to be showing you the FA Cup semi-final. I won't show you Fulham. I'm probably leaning towards not showing you the Barcelona first leg as well. Maybe we come back for Barcelona Spurs. Maybe Barcelona Spurs and United. It depends. If we if we lose against Chelsea, then I'll probably show you Palace and Barcelona. If we beat them, then there'll be another uh, there'll be another game at the end of the season. But then again, the same with the Champions League final. I'm not sure. I'll be at the very least. I think I'll be doing Chelsea Fulham off camera. Whether I do Barcelona off camera as well, I'm sure or not, I don't know yet. But we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did go on to enjoy it, please leave a like. If you happen to be new to the channel off the back of this video, be sure to subscribe as well. We are on the road to 450 subscribers. I mean, this video is coming out midway through April. So hopefully by now we're further into the 460s, 470s. But as I'm recording this, I literally just got my 450th subscriber today. So really appreciate you. Really appreciate everyone that's subscribed, everyone who likes the videos, everyone who comments nice things. And yeah, obviously guys, without saying thank you very much and uh, I will see you very soon. Thanks again for watching.